Uh, yeah, Richard Witt and current role with Social Inclusion Manager here at the Community Trust. And how, tell us about your journey, how did you get to this role? Uh, journey, well, I started coaching here 20 years ago, September just gone. And I started doing an after school club and then I did development centres and lunchtime clubs. And I've been here ever since then really, so uh, sort of my, my sort of um, plan sort of changed, I guess, once the Premier League started to fund the kicks programme. Uh, that enabled me to go into the avenue where I wanted to be really, and that was supporting young people um, through different challenging moments, whether it was through sport or education. Um, so I think the important part of my journey was changing from just being a community coach to being an inclusion coach. Um, just more nurturing the young people. Fantastic. And um, what's your favourite memory while you've been at the trust? Um, cool, I've got loads of memories of being here, seeing loads of different staff, move on to different departments and different journeys, but probably my best moment, probably winning the Pride of Reading Award, I think, um, in 2019, that thing. Uh, showed probably all of the hard work that had paid off for helping young people. Not that I was looking for an achievement, um, and just obviously luckily got nominated, but I think that um, was a bit of the ice on the cake to show that everything that we have been doing here at the Trust um, for the last sort of 10 years has been working. Fantastic. And lastly, can you tell us what Black History Month means to you? Um, Black History Month to me is an important time of the year. I'd love to see more organisations, Premier League and so on, um, doing even more than they're doing already but overall I think it's an important time for me because of being mixed race coming from two different heritage it it gets me to probably discover a bit more about the black culture in me um, whereas sort of I guess growing up and being in school and so on being with more predominantly white children so you didn't get to explore it as much I certainly didn't learn nothing in school so um, my learning has all come since I probably left school um, and not necessarily come from my dad's side of the family. It's probably just me through learning and working with different children across different sectors. So for me, it's uh, a massive part of the year. October is an important time now. It's an important time in my children's journey that I pass on the knowledge to them as well and get them to have a better understanding. Um, and I think it gives the country a chance to unite and talk about some of these things that people would always feel that they couldn't talk about or be more difficult to talk about. So I think in October it gives people a chance to be able to do that. Um, and then obviously through different programmes like Kick It Out, etc., it just spreads more awareness through sport especially. Um, I'd like to definitely see more stuff being done on the TV. Uh, we don't seem to see that many um, people back in the October month, but... You do see companies like BBC One Extra, BBC and Times doing things to help promote, promote the programme and the project. So, yeah, it's an important time for me. Um, like I said, it gets me to understand more about the black culture in me. Um, and it definitely gives me an understanding. Um, it'd be nice to be able to ask my dad the questions that I wanted to ask him, I guess, about black culture. Um, but now I have to obviously pass that on to my dad's sister and the rest of the family and those guys are the ones you can help also educate and give me a better understanding of my, you know, my family tree and, and where that comes from. My dad was you know, from a big family, um, a lot of the family are in Barbados, London, etc. So yeah, um, this time of the month gives me, I guess, extra inspiration to go and find out a little bit more about the programme. Well, not about the programme, but about Black History Month.